Sorry, got to keep a hammer on this one. Otherwise it floats away. This is the Kershaw Anso Fraction? Faxon? Ah, I don't know. Pronouncing things, not my strong point. There's one of their, as I go and fail, totally to open it. Snappiest. Very incredibly light manual ones. That they've come out, oh, last couple years. I haven't kept track of things. I usually don't. Yeah. This one right here. This was one that I was looking for. I wanted something nice as a souvenir from when I spent some time down in Utah. So, got a bit of engraving done on it. Although the, um, which side was which ended up confusing me from their site. Latex HQ is where I've got this one. As I was hoping to have it on this side. However, at that time I had no idea what they meant. So I ended up getting it. Let's see if I can do this left handed. There we go, on this side here. I don't know, that just continues to amuse me. Uh, when I left there, I did end up buying some more product with that on it. You know, sou souvenir, souvenirs, tourist hats. Somehow on the way back, they all kind of disappeared, but I don't know. This one again has gotten not a lot of pocket time, if I'm being honest. Just, just a few things with the G10. It has the liners on one side there, set in very nice, but none on the other. And with it being so thin, I don't know. I just keep getting concerned about it. It is a lovely beautiful knife blue g10 carbon fiber on the top lovely design there your standard 8cr13 blade about two and three quarters so good size for me you got their kut bearings in there and it just flies out has it's got a great detent in there there we go. There's your push button, which I'm not very good at. I don't think I've got any knives that really use a push button. The only thing about this one that isn't my favorite is on the flipper tab, the flipper tab there. It's got some very harsh jimping. So you flip it takes quite a bit of effort, but you can see that it just it leaves a mark every time. And if you're just sitting there flipping it, it can get quite painful. On the other hand, it is incredibly fun with how snappy this is. Oh man, I've seriously got to carry this more often. It's such a beautiful knife. I like the small flipper as well. I really do. And the presentation it has right there. Such a gorgeous little guy. Nice and small. They've got a big brother to this as well, but I'm not into big knives personally. This is right about perfect for what I like. The only other complaint I, complaint I have about it is the G10 right there. Very harsh 90 corner. So once you get used to it, it's not bad. Just have to make sure to pull slightly up and not just straight, because if you pull straight along like that, you end up rubbing your finger right in there. And it's very harsh. But if you pull, when you pull slightly 
up and away as well. Not a problem. See the standard clip style. Rides fairly high out of the pocket, but people aren't going to have a look at that and go, oh, you know, oh, there's a big scary knife in your pocket. Yeah, 